The difference between tautomers and resonance structures is that tautomers are constitutional isomers. You are changing what is connected to what. I'm going to write that slowly, changing the connectivity between the atoms. Whereas for resonance structures, you're really only redistributing the electrons that are holding atoms together. You're not fully breaking bonds between two atoms and then reattaching a new atom in a new place, okay? The classic tautomer example is ketoenol tautomerism. Here I have what could be a ketone, and what matters is that there is a hydrogen on the alpha carbon. That's the carbon attached to the CO group. Now, this is a fully valid uh, I don't know, structural diagram. I could have R groups or H's here. Now, that H can also be found some of the time attached to this O. That double bond would have had to break to make this happen. It actually displaces to here. This is another valid structural diagram. And these two compounds are found rapidly interchanging to become each other. It's a rapid equilibrium. But because you're breaking this bond fully and reattaching the H on another atom, it's not resonance. Resonance is when all the atoms stay exactly where they are. You're just representing it in a different way by redistributing the electrons. Tautomers are a rapid equilibrium and some bonds break and new bonds form. My example for resonance structures here is a carboxyl ion. I have a double bonded oxygen on the carbon and a single bonded oxygen with a minus charge. But one of the lone pairs on the negatively charged oxygen can push to become a double bond. And then that can force the pi bond here to break. You end up with three lone pairs on this oxygen, a double bond here and only two lone pairs there. But please note the carbon, oxygen, and oxygen are still connected in the same way. No atoms have been broken off in one place and reattached in another. The only other thing I really want to emphasize here is that just because you can rearrange a molecule doesn't mean it always does. Uh, like one butene and two butene, like butene where the double bonds on the end versus in the middle, those are also constitutional isomers, but they don't rapidly interconvert. There's no mechanism for that to happen. So you have to know that there is a tautomerization happening. Then you just have to accept that both of these structures exist. Um, well, it's one at a time, but they're rapidly interconverting. With resonance structures, these are both just two ways to represent the same ion, and the actual structure ends up being, I don't know, halfway-ish between the two. You've got a one and a half-ish bond between that carbon and that oxygen, because sometimes we represent it double, sometimes we represent it single. And this bond order is about one and a half, because sometimes it's one and sometimes it's two. Get it? Got it? Good. Thanks for being with me, and best of luck.